Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from ChrisTheMathTutor.com and, and MTELTestPrep.com. I'm here to look at some problems, some concepts and problems that you may see on exams. I'm going to focus on concepts that uh, reappear in problems over and over again. And these are sort of, these concepts uh, come out in problems um, almost like stock problems that you'll see on different types of exams. And so this one we're going to deal with, we're going to call the bowl of grapes. And it's made, it's filled with all these different grapes. One-fourth of the grapes are red. Three-eighths of the grapes are green. Two-sixteenths of the grapes are black. And then we have uh, 16 grapes left over, and these are blue. But my blue Expo marker is out, so we're just going to use our imagination. So we got, we got red grapes, we got green, we got black, and we have blue grapes. And my question is, how many grapes are in this bowl? Well, let's say we, we're looking at these fractions here, and you're looking at them and you're saying, well, I've got to add these fractions up and add the 16 in, and somehow I'm going to get some number of grapes. Well, in your mind you should be thinking, this whole, this whole bowl, actually represents 100% of all the grapes that you have. So if you go and you start saying, well, you know what, I think there are 32 grapes in this bowl. If you start thinking like that, then that, then all your parts, whatever your parts may be, have to add up to 32. Because 32 over 32, that's going to get you, you know, your 100%. So I want you to always think like that. All the parts have to add up to a whole. So let's say you say there are 32 grapes. Let's see, one-fourth. What's one-fourth of 32? Four goes into 32 hmm, eight times. So that's four times eight is 32. One times eight we get you one. I mean eight. Eight goes into 32 four times. So I would do eight times four gets 32. Three times four gets 12. 16 is only twice, so I just do 2 times 16 is 32, 2 times 2 is 4, and this last one is what we're saying is 16. You know, there's 16, 16 grapes in here, there are 32 all together. Well, guess what? If I add up all my parts, let's see, 8 plus that's 20, 24, uh-oh, that is... 40 grapes out of 32, there's a problem. My parts add up to something that's greater than the whole. That can't be. There must be a mistake. In a case like this, all you need to do is ask yourself, what would be the next possible number of grapes? Well, since 16 is in here, if it's not 16 and it's not 32, I'm going to do the, the I'm going to bump up the next step. Well, I'm going to bump it up to, just to test it out, we tried 32, let's try 64. What happens if we tr test out 64? Let's add up our parts now. 1 fourth of 64 is 16. 3 eighths of 64, let's see, eight, 64, 8 goes into 64 8 times, so I will do 8 times 3, give me 24. 16 goes into 64 four times, so I do four times two, I get eight, plus another 16. Hmm. 16 plus 16 is 32. 24 plus eight is 32. This looks nice. When I add up all my parts, I get 30, 32 plus 32 would be 64. So all together, all my parts add up to 64. My whole is 64. Wada wada bing! There are 64 grapes in this jar. Now I've had students say, how is it that it's 64? How did you come up with that particular number? I came up with that number because that's the only number in this problem, because this is a very unique problem, that when I add up all my parts, my parts will add up to the whole. And in this case, the whole is 64, and my parts add up to 64. There could have been a different problem, which had different fractions, 
or different combinations of fractions and I would have gotten a different denominator and therefore all the parts would have had to add up to that. But in this particular problem called the bowl of grapes, all my parts, the only way that I can fit in this 16 grapes plus all these other fractions is if I use 64 as the denominator. I hope you found this helpful everyone. Once again, this is Chris Abraham from MTEL Test Prep and ChrisTheMathTutor.com. Send in your questions. You can always uh, send an email in if you need some direct help. I'd be happy to, um, to be of service. Thanks everyone. Take care. Have a great night. Bye-bye.